So my 12 games of Christmas featured game today is from one of my favorite scratch creators. It's by someone called Fiery Chicken. And this is Google Minesweeper. Now, if you're wondering why it's called Google Minesweeper, you may not know, but Minesweeper is a really old fashioned game that used to be around uh, on Windows computers back uh, when they were first uh, out when we were probably in the 90s. And it's a game where you've got to try and figure out where the mines are in a grid. And the idea is, is you, you get clues and each of the numbers means that all of these are touching one mine. So we can safely say that this one here is a mine. And you can see that when you click on a mine, it explodes and you lose the level. And your job is to try and click all of the squares that don't have a mine. Okay. So that's what it looks like on Google and Fiery Chicken has created pretty much a replica on Scratch. And you can even get the easy, medium and hard. Uh, so again, I know that if there's one, if these are all touching one, then it must be this one. So that one can't be one. That one can't be one. Uh, if that's touching one, then this one can't be one. Uh, this one can't be one. If that's touching one, then this can't be one. And you can kind of figure out your way along. Uh, or you can end up popping them up. I was very close. Missed a few there. And it looks almost identical. We can have a look inside the code, but it's probably going to be very complicated indeed. And you can see here we've got, oops, absolutely loads of code. Let me zoom out. This is what it takes to replicate a game made by Google. It really is a magnificent effort. And look at that. All of the code is just on one sprite. And that is just incredible. Those variables. Wow. A very impressive effort by Fiery Chicken. Our Scratch Expert tip this 12th day of Christmas comes from God286. And this is an example of how to use that run without screen refresh. And if you've not heard of this, you need to go to make a block. And when you start to click make a block, you'll get the option to run without screen refresh. You take the little box and what God286 has explained here is that if you're drawing a square, you write out your code for drawing a square and you place it underneath this block you've created. And then whenever you want to run that square, if any of you want that square to appear, perhaps the squares are enemies in your game, it will just appear. It won't draw each side of the square one by one. It will just appear on your project. Thank you so much to God286 for your tip today. I've got a very quick tip today and it's all about using an amazing website called Audionatics. Now I'm not a big fan of using music that's made by people who haven't allowed you to but this website has loads of different songs that you can choose from and search for and you're allowed to use them as long as you say in your scratch project that you took it from audionatics.com and once you find the song that's your, that you think is good you can listen to it you might get a little ad just close that ad and then you click on these little three dots and you click save as. Once you've saved it to your computer, then you need to open up your scratch project, go to your sounds, click on the top one where it says upload sound, find the sound that you had, open it up and then you're ready to play that song. Don't forget to give it credit. That's it. That's all I'm going to say today. And I'm going to leave you uh, for day eight. Enjoy your weekend. We'll be back with day nine on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.